So the other day I took this beauty out for a ride and she was kind of sputtering a little bit on takeoff and uh, there's various and sundry different things that cause that. But uh, I have generally found that if I've got a carburetor of this type, and this one is an Edelbrock, which is basically the same thing as an old Carter AFB, just about. Generally, uh, you know, a lot of people talk about rebuilding them, but generally, I found that if I just take it apart, clean it real good, clean out all the little passage holes and stuff like that, put it back together, it works pretty good. That's what I'm gonna do this morning. I was just thinking I'd uh, get this baby apart and uh, take it up to the barn. It's actually cool enough where I cut the heater on up there for a little while just to, just to warm things up. And we'll uh, clean off a flat level spot and get this pan down and clean it good and put it back together and then, and then see what happens. Oh, and there should be four little nuts on here and they should be half inch. Yep, they are. One, two, three, four, and a half inch. So I have to take this loose. That's the uh, that's the vacuum that runs to the um, booster, brake booster. And I've got to take this off. This draws this the PCV crankcase ventilation uh, line. This vacuum hose right here goes to the distributor. Uh, advances the vacuum when you gas it. And this linkage right over here. Take a look at that. I've got another little block on the shelf. I thought about just building it. Building it, cleaning it, putting it on here. Set this one aside. It looks pretty similar. Pretty similar in almost every way. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And if I did that, where he's Places where it may not be exactly the same would be here, not here. So you have a throttle adjustment here. You have the, uh, the transmission kick down, which kicks down the, like a, this is a passenger lever. And sometimes they attach a little differently. That one's got a bolt on it, where that one over there's got something to clamp on to and this is that's a little pin on that one right there. goes through that hole so there's a hole for my pin and this bolt thing here is threaded yep, it's got a nut on the back so I could do that these carbs are the same what you will call it or not they've got a usually right here in front of that thing is a number stamp I, don't have a, I think I have a flashlight down here but I'm talking about looking at them they're almost just the same if there's any difference it'll usually be in the uh, oh what you will call it see, see this one has a number stamp there, that's an 8261, it looks like. Or maybe I don't think you go by that number, I think you go by this number 1406. I think that's 1406. And oh, it could be if I open this back door, I could see better. That is a 1408. Six. Is that eight or six? I think it's the same. I think it's just about exactly the same. You got the same little thing on here. I may just do that. I may just clean this one. 
take it apart and clean it that way. When I get ready to do this one, I just pull that off, drop the other rod on there. Yeah, and the other thing about that is my, my back hurts. Not really my back, it's kind of my side. But it hurts, and leaning over the hood of the car today would hurt. Uh, this is a fairly new, a fairly new one. I bought this one. To go on the Rambler just about the time that Josh took the Rambler home with him a few years ago. It was fresh. It was all fresh. So, yeah. Hmm. Hmm. I think that's what I'm going to do. It's about 47, 48 degrees today. It's going to start warming up after this. And keep in mind it's still middle of March. So, it is not unusual to have one. Still have a little cold spell. It's a lot better than, you know, 63 impalas out there. Every time I talk to him, he's talking about pushing snow around. I know he's loving that. This is hot. This is a little pea picking hot. So, I got my little heater going right here. I may just be nice if I clean off that table right there. Look at the little mess of this. Lord have mercy. But I could get that up here and clean it off and give me a place to work. That'd be better than poking the eye with a sharp stick. Anyway. Yeah,